I'm Chris Sarimbas with Matt Lautner Cattle TV. We're here at the Florida Fat Steer Show in Kissimmee, Florida. We've got our eight class winners here in the Florida Fat Steer Show in the ring. Class one is Quinn Carter. Class two is Sarah Davis. Class three is Michaela Acock. Class four, Michaela Acock. Class five, Kagan Long. Class six, Alyssa Hodge. Class seven, Clayton Brock, the black and white steer. And then class eight, Morgan Johnson. Our judge, Mr. Eric Bilderback, is in the ring. He's from El Reno, Oklahoma. He's done a nice job today here in the Florida Fat Steers Show evaluating these cattle. Really appreciate his job. As he just said, let's give all these zippers a big round of applause, and they certainly deserve it. They've done a really nice job putting on this show and bringing some really stout cattle here to be exhibited. But uh, as I said in our earlier coverage, I think it's going to come down to probably class four, five, six, and seven to be contenders. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, our supreme sponsor for the Florida Fat Steer and Open the World Show, Show Live Tees. Check out Show Live Tees. And all of our corporate sponsors, Matt Lautner Cattle, Executive Sires, and FatSteer.com. Our judge is uh, currently is, appears to be making some final comments on this uh, finalizing these comments about each class winner real quick here. He's currently talking about class two champion, which is a really attractive steer. Got some style and balance. Just needs some more weight per day of age and time on feed. Once again, here's class three. He's a really attractive and striking steer. Just needs some time, as our judge just alluded to, and needs some more maturity and some more development in that lower one-third of his rib cage. Next will be class four, calf shown by Michaela Acock. Once again, this steer, I believe, was our class two champion at the Louisville Steer Show earlier this fall at the North American International Livestock Exposition. Really attractive steer. Just probably needs to be powered up a touch from shoulders back. Needs to be opened up there in his skeleton with a little more width and dimension, but that is a really impressive calf from the side view profile. Once again, that calf shown by Michaela Acock. Next is class five, shown by Kagan Long. As he said, a little bit different, a little more moderate, a little maybe more compact, but super big bodied, really powerful and stout. The judge said he's really big backed and big uh, top, a lot of shape and dimension. And he said that he really appreciates as you watch that steer get out and move, he comes to you and leaves you with lots of width. And uh, he said he'd like to just make him a little bigger footed and bigger boned as compared to some of his counterpart class winners. But a really powerful kind of calf that's super complete. Next will be class six, one of the contenders, at least in my mind, that's probably the biggest bone, biggest outline, heaviest constructed calf. But uh, as he said, gets a little bit concerning on his feet and legs, gets bowed out on that right rear. Got just a touch of chest, but uh, a really stout, powerful kind of calf. Very highly presented calf. Next is their black and white one shown by Clayton Brock. As our judge said, he's the coolest and neatest, most balanced steer in the lineup. Said he really appreciates his style and the look. He really appreciates how big top and stout he is. He said he's got a lot of width and stoutness all the way through the rear of his skeleton. And as he said, the one question about the calf, is he soft enough for him? Is he deep enough flanked? But uh, certainly a very adequate, as he just alluded to on the mic, as far as his rib design is concerned. And the next is our Class 8 champion show by Morgan Johnson. Early complete and powerful calf. Just giving up a little bit of uh, freshness and youthfulness about his appearance. He's weighing up there at 1,390, 1,379 pounds. Or a judge has completed his comments. He's getting back out here to probably make one final circle around the ring. As we said, we've got a great lineup out here. We've got, at least in my mind, four major contenders, class four, five, six, and seven. 
I think it comes down to those four steers, and if you want to get really nitpicky, it's going to come down to class six and seven, the Hodge steer and the Brock calf. Will he take the bigger bone and bigger footed steer of Alyssa Hodge, or will he take the more fresh and attractive steer of Brock? It'll be really, really close here, I think, between six and seven. He'll give all eight one more look, but it's going to come down to those two. It'll be either class six, in my opinion, or class seven to be your champion. It's going to be awful close here. He's looking at the side view profile of the Clayton Brock steer. As he said, that one hits you super hard from the side, just really long spine, really upheaded, long neck, clean chested, really level in his lines. As he said, does he have enough body? That'll be the question as compared to the Hodge steer that uh, is certainly bigger bodied and uh, more capacious and softer middle. But uh, I think it's uh, easily seen from this angle that the Hodge steer, if we get back over there to class six, He's got a little more chest, a little thicker neck, not quite as stylish as the Brock steer. Well, he's moving towards class seven. Is that the way he's going to go? He's giving him one more look. And, yes, it's going to be Clayton Brock to be your grand champion steer at the Florida Fat Steer Show. A really stout money shot steer sold by myself, Chris Terembis, and Holly Pode from Mineral Point, Wisconsin. So uh, congratulations to Clayton and company. A really, really good steer. A really Glad that uh, we were able to get that one across. He looks really, really good. So congratulations to Clayton Brock, back-to-back -back champion here at the Florida Fat Steer Show. He won it last year, and he wins it again this year. So he's keeping the streak alive. Congratulations to Clayton Brock with that really, really powerful money shot steer. Another Lautner champion here at the Florida Fat Steer Show. A heat wave wins it last year. This year will be a money shot. Congratulations. That's a really, really good calf. And as we said, that one was sold by myself and Holly Pode. Really, really good one. Congratulations to Clayton Brock. They really deserve it. That's a good one. Coming in contention out of Class 7 is steer shown by Candace Ladd. That's a really big-bodied red calf that certainly could be a contender. Our judge is back over here handling Class 5 champions shown by Michaela Acock. And now he's moving back towards Class uh, 5 champions shown by Kagan Kagan Long. Well, and it's going to be Alyssa Hodge for Reserve Grand Champion. Congratulations, the two steers that I suspected will be in the hunt. Class 6 for Reserve. Congratulations to Alyssa Hodge, your Reserve Grand Champion steer at the Florida Fat Steers Show. We've got uh, three holes left to pick. It's going to be Michaela Acock for third overall. The young lady there in the orange with a steer that was Class 2 champion at the Louisville North American Show earlier in November. Congratulations to Michaela. And then I believe he's going to go out here and select fourth and fifth overall. So as at this point, our top three is Clayton Brock, Alyssa Hodge, and Michaela Acock. We're going to pick our final top two, fourth and fifth coming. Calf coming to the ring now for contention is out of class. Number... Um, I believe our class five steer that was, excuse me, class six was a little bit late coming to the party. He would be coming behind the reserve steer. He just made it out here now, shown by Ridge Carter. The judge is going to give him here one more look, I believe, or before he makes his selection. He may have backed up here on third. He may not have finalized third. Nope. He's going to go ahead and do it. Kagan Long will be your kick. Well, I guess we made a mistake there. It's Kagan Long for third. I think that I thought they picked Michaela Acock, but I believe they uh, made a mistake there. So it's Kagan Long for third overall. So now we're picking fourth and fifth overall. Coming back is Peter Klein from Class Five, the second place steer. Should be coming here momentarily. As we're waiting for that class five second place steer to come back, you can see our judge looking at the ACOC calf there once again. And uh, looks like that calf is a little bit behind. Our judge is once again is looking at that ACOC steer that I suspected was third overall. I thought I, he slapped him, but I, I guess I made a mistake there. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes in that direction for fourth. We see Peter Klein coming here right now. 
And uh, he'll be coming out here for his opportunity to be fourth overall. He was coming out of class five.